Hi, and welcome to Bremster Puzzles. I'm back to set six of the Sudokutudes series. This is Mule by Bremster, a non-consecutive puzzle. Um, non-consecutive is often one of the constraints that is considered to be least popular. Um, Probably disjoint would be the global constraint that people like least, um, but this would probably be up there because people say that it's either too powerful or not interesting, but I enjoy playing with it occasionally, so that's what I'm doing. So there'll be a link below to where you can get the entire Sudokutudes archive as well as to, because there's now, as I said, six packs as well as all of the Sudoku takeout stuff, which is also linked to from my collections page, which will be linked to below, as well as a whole heap of packs by other people. All of that is available for free. Yes, it's a Patreon link, but um, it is available even if you don't have a Patreon account. It is, just treat it like a web page. Um, but you'll also find a link to this puzzle where you can try it out for yourself. Um, that's what matters. Let's go through the rules. We've got normal Sudoku rules apply. So in every box, in every row, and in every column, the digits one to nine must be placed without repetition. Also non-consecutive. So digits in orthogonally adjacent cells. So if you could basically connect them um, uh, to make sort of a domino. So you make a, uh, uh, basically if they share an edge, um, they cannot be consecutive. So around this three, neither of those digits could, none of those digits could be two and four. None of those digits could be seven or nine. None of those digits could be four or six um, because you can't make the, um, anything ad uh, orthogonally adjacent consecutive. They're the rules. I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer. Let's give this a shot. So there's some Sudoku we can do right at the start. Four can't go in any of those or in any of those. That is a four. Um, to do three is up here by Sudoku. So three is in none of those, but I can't put three next to two or four. So we start with the three in the corner. Um, four can't go next to three or five. So that's a four, which puts four in one of those, but I can't put four next to three. So four is in one of those two. which limits five in this row because I can't put five next to four and I can't put five in this box. So four would, uh, five would be in one of these two cells. Couldn't put five in either of these two cells because if I was to put five in one of those two cells, it would force the four to be next to it. Four and six can't go in any of those. So that puts six in one of those two. Right. Because six can't go in that row, but I can't put six next to five. So six is in one of those two, which means in this box, six isn't in any of those or any of those, and I can't put six next to five. So that's a six. Okay. Six in this box is in one of those. Two in this box is in one of those two, because I can't put it next to three. Two in this box is in one of those three. Is it the four? No, I don't. Oh, yes, it is. It is. It is. It is. Four is in one of those two. I can restrict four a little bit. Three in this. Yeah, three in this box is in one of those two because I can't put it next to a four. I can't put it there. So three is in one of those two, which puts three up here. I can't go in those or those. So three is in one of those two because I can't go next to a four and that three looks across saying not there. That's a three. Which puts three down here in one of those two. Which means two can't go in either of those. Is it twos? Twos can't go in any of those. So two is in one of those two. So in this box, this can't be a two, this can't be a two, this can't be a two, Two is in one of those. Five is restricted here. Five can't go in any of those. Five can't go in any of those. Five can't go there or there. Five is in one of those. Right, that's really powerful. So let's look at this box. I'm going to remove those pencil marks and go through in some detail and explain what I saw. So five has to go in this box. It can't be in those by Sudoku. It can't be in those by Sudoku. If I put it here, that would be a four and there'd be consecutiveness. I can't put it here because it would be next to a four. So five is in one of those two. But if five is in one of those two, that can't be a four or it would be next to one of the two fives. That's a four and five is in one of those two. That's really cool. If four is in one of those two, four is in one of those three, it can't be next to a five and it can't be there. That's the four. 
which means that's not the four, that's the four. Three is not in any of those or there. Three is in one of those two. Okay. So that can't be a two. Five up here. Three in this box doesn't seem to be restricted. Okay. Two in this box doesn't seem to be restricted. Got to get out of this middle band where I seem to be stuck. Five in this box is in one of those two, because five can't be there or next to a four. Six is not in there. Now I've, I'm sticking within the same boxes, but I've got you've got to pay attention to the fact that some it will cross boxes as well. And I have been using that, but maybe not as effectively as I need to. Like one is not in any of those. I've got all the fours. Five is in one of those. Five. Oh, five in this box. Five can't be in those and five can't be next to four. Five is in one of those two, which means that's not the five. That's the five, which means that's not the five. That's the five. Five and five puts five up here, but it can't be next to a four. Five and five puts five up here, but it can't be next to a four. This four is restricting five from all of those. So five can't be in any of those or any of those or there or there. That's a five. Okay. Six can't be in any of those or there. Six is in one of those two. Six can't be on top of a five. So six isn't in any of those. Six is not in any of those. Two, two sixes, sevens feel a bit weird. Is it this? Two is in one of those two. Three, four, five, six in here can't be there. So six is in one of those two because I can't put six here by Sudoku and I can't put it next to seven. So that's not a six, that's a six. which doesn't seem to be doing much in this box. One in this box is quite open and nine in this box can't be in either of those two. So nine is in one of those two. Seven can't be in any of those. So seven is in one of those two because I can't put it next to a six and I can't put it where there's already a seven in the column, which puts seven in one of those two. So these are one, seven, eight, nine. Well, eight is in one of those two. Uh, no, eight can't be in there because of the column and I can't put it next to a seven. That's not an eight. Not an eight, Brim. That's an eight. And these are one, seven, and nine. Well, there's no nine there. So nine is in one of those two because I can't put nine next to eight. So nine isn't over here. So this is only, oh, that can't be a seven because of the eight. That's the seven. That's the nine. That's the one. So this column is missing two, three, and nine. Well, that's not a nine or a three. That's a two. And this is a three, nine. And I can't put the three next to the two. That's the nine. That's the three. This isn't the two. These are one, which must be in one of those two. So it's one in one of those two, six in one of those two, and nine in one of those two. I think that's where we get to. Oh, nine is looking down, making that the one, that the six, that the nine. These now, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. These are two and eight. And these are one and seven. Yeah, 
If that's a two, that's a seven. If that's an eight, that's a one. So those have a relationship, but I can't see how to resolve it. Two in this row can't be next to the three. So it's in one of those two, because it can't be next to a three, which means two is in one of those. That doesn't seem to be it. Three is not in any of those or next to a four. Three is in one of those two. Yeah, I've already got six down here. This row, I don't have two, seven, and nine. This can't be two. Why did I say this couldn't be two? Why did I put two up here? Oh, because this can't be two and this can't be two. So two in this row is up here. So this is seven or nine. This can't be a two because it can't be next to a three. That can't be a two. So this is a two and this is a seven or a nine. That means this isn't a two. This is a two. This isn't a two. Two in this box is in one of those two now. Need to put a one, six, seven, nine. That can't be a one. So one is in one of those two. And that resolves where one goes in this box, because the ones pointing here means there's no one in any of those. This one means there's no one in any of those. So one is in one of those three. But if I put one in either of those cells, it'll force the two next to it. So that's the one, meaning that's not the two and that's the two. Two now is not in any of those and not there. Two is in one of those two and two can't go next to one. That's the two making that the five by pencil marks. I'm really curious what people think of this one as a non-consecutive puzzle. I'm really happy with this one. I, I, there are a lot of Sudokutude puzzles that get made that don't get released um, because I'm not happy with them. But yeah, um, pretty happy with this. The five means this isn't the six. The eight means this isn't the eight. The two means this isn't the one. Okay. So this row, one, two, three, four, five, six, and nine. These are six and nine. Not seeing that. One is in one of the, uh, one is in one of those two by Sudoku. Six is not in any of those or there. So six is in one of those two, but it can't go next to the five. That's the six. So this row, one, two, three, four, five, six. These are seven and nine, giving us a seven, nine pair in that column. Six has to be in one of those two. This row, 1789. This can't be 1 or 7, so this is just 8 or 9. This can't be 1, so this is 789. So 1 is in one of those two. This column, maybe? I need to put a two in this column, which has to go in one of those two. That can't be a two, it sees a two. That can't be a two, it sees a two. Two is down here and I can't put two next to three. That's a two. So this column, one, two, three, four, five, six, these are seven, eight, nine. There's no nine here. And that one, hmm. That seven or nine means that can't be an eight. Where's eight in this box? It has to be in one of those three, but it can't be there. Eight is in one of those two. So this can't be seven or nine. Because if this was seven or nine, it'd be next to eight. So what can this be? It can be, can't be one, two. It could be three. It can't be four, five. It could be six. It can't be seven. It can't be eight. It can't be nine. Because if it was seven, it'd be next to an eight. If it was an eight, it would be... 
next to that 7 or 9, and if it was 9, it'd be next to the 8. This is only 3 or 6. That's a weird interaction, but I like it. Six is in one of those two. Yeah, because six can't be here because of that six. Six can't be here. It's not next to a five. So six is in one of those two. So that's not the six. That's the six. So there's no seven in either of those. But the six is looking up, making that the one, which makes that the eight, that the nine. So that's the seven. That's the nine. That's the one. The nine looks down, making that the seven, that the nine, that the six, that the nine, that's the six, and that's the one, just by Sudoku. The nine looks up saying that's not the nine. This is a seven, eight for the for the row, and the eight looks up making that the seven, that the eight. This is the six for either the row or the box. Pick one. This is a triple now. Uh, the six makes this the three, and this is a seven, eight. And the six means that can't be a seven. That's the eight. That's the seven. The seven and the nine look down, making that the eight. The three says that's not the three. That's the three. This column is missing one and seven. That's one and seven. And I can't put one next to two. Seven and one, which means seven and one. The two looks across, meaning eight and two. This box is missing its nine. And now I'm down to a single box. This two says that's not the two, that's the two. This three says that's not the three, that's the three. The one can't go in any of those or there. This is the one. These are seven, eight, nine. The eight and the seven means that's the nine, and I'll take nine out, and then I'll use that seven to make that the eight and that the seven. And that is the solution to Mule by Bremster. And as you can see here, this has had three solves in 128 days. As I said, many of these puzzles were made months ago, and it really does depend on when my testers first decided to go through the worksheet. Um, and it's fine. It it really is fine. Um, some puzzles are more attractive than others, and some people I poke and say, is this actually good? Um, sometimes I reach out. And my testers go through phases. Um, sometimes my testers will just turn around and say, you know what, I'm taking a break, and that's perfectly fine. Um, but this one, really happy with. And as you can see, I haven't looked at this one in months. So, um, because it would have been solved by me well before I put it into the format with the final name so that it would have been available for counting. So yeah, it's been months, months since I looked at this one, but I enjoyed it and that's what matters. Thanks everyone for watching um, and you enjoying it matters as well. Good luck with your solving. <laughs>